Hi everyone. So I did a couple twin flame readings. Well, I did a twin flame readings reading a couple weeks or so ago, and then I did the um, cut and clear community ritual for you guys. Because remember the first twin flame. For those of you that are following the twin flame readings, if you remember the first one I did. I really strongly put the intention in that I would not channel karmics, that I would not channel toxic exes, because I know a lot of you have talked about that. You get kind of tired of, you know, watching all these different readers and, you know, the toxic ex that you're trying to get over or you're trying to cut out always comes through. So I decided to start doing twin flame readings, which it's not just twin flames. I mean, it's it's soulmates too, um, life partners, basically people that aren't completely toxic people that you know would be compatible with you long term you know people that are more right for you like these readings are it's it's not just twin flames but i'm pretty much you know i it's just the title um it's twin flames soulmates life partners just uh you know not karmics basically i'm, I'm putting the intention of reading people that are um you know, right for you, like the people that you want me to channel instead of just the toxic exes that keep coming through in everyone's readings all the time. So the in the first reading I was doing, just to, you know, for those of you that are new, just to get you guys caught up. So the first reading I did for um, this new collective Twin Flame group, Twin Flame Soulmate group, is I, I asked, you know, what do you need to do to manifest this true love, this life partner? And it was saying that there was one little thing holding you back, which could be a toxic pattern. It could be, um, for a lot of you, it was a toxic karmic, an ex that you, maybe maybe there were still some energy cords, like they might have been a psychic vampire, still kind of draining your energy to some degree. So the last um, Twin Flame reading I did was actually a ritual, um, maybe about like a few days or like a week ago where I led you guys through a cut and clear ritual because I was getting there's that one little thing that you need that keeps blocking your abundance. Like you keep trying to manifest love and money and all these amazing things. And there's just like, you know, you are manifesting it. It is coming in, but there's that one little thing that just keeps holding you back. And this could be, again, it could be a thought pattern, could be a person, it could be um, a situation, a living situation. But whatever it is, I think a lot of you uh, joined me in that cut and clear ritual that I did earlier in the week. So I want to see what the energy is now. Is this going to be a continued story? So, you know, eventually, you know, here and there, I'll probably be doing rituals as well. Like if that comes up in the cards, I mean, we might, we might end up doing a love drawing ritual in the future or something. Who knows? Like, it's just, I'm going to go with where the story leads. So, so if you're in that energy group, um, you know, picking up where we left off. So we just did the, the, so we, we found out there was something holding you back. We did the cut and clear community ritual to free yourself of that energy, you know, how are you guys feeling? Are you guys feeling that sense of freedom? Like, I feel like that should start opening things up for you guys. Remember when you do cut and clear rituals, you have to want it. Um, you have to also really um, be opening yourself up to, you know, new experiences, new people. Well, let's see what the cards have to say. Let's see what, let's continue that story off. So, okay, so what comes after the, the ritual we just did? Page of Swords, King of Swords, Angel de la Nute, which is um light after the darkness, King of Wands, okay. So, let's see. So this is, it's good energy overall. Let's see what else we got here. And you could be male or female, either way. It doesn't matter. Um, King of Wands, Hermit. What comes after the Hermit? The Moon, using your intuition. Okay. So I feel like... Yeah, I feel like you guys are about to really start diving more deeply into your intuition here. So some of you might have gotten a harsh message, or there, or there might have been some harsh communication or closure or something that happened. And this could also just be like making a final decision to cut this King of Swords out. This person that was just kind of, you know, would be harsh, kind of strict, overly logical, emotionally unavailable. And you have this light coming in after this period of darkness, you know, like you, you made that decision, you cut something out. And you could also be the king of swords yourself. So this could be male or female, but it looks like you have someone coming in and this could also be an air sign that you're letting go of. And you might be coming into a fire sign. 
Um, or this could just be the general energy. You know, the King of Wands is someone who's, they're strong, they're charming, they're passionate, they're emotional, they're charismatic. Um, it's definitely, it's not the, the best, it's not the best energy in love, but it's, it's definitely way better than the King of Swords. I mean, it's not the King of Cups, but it's still good. I mean, they just, they come in quickly. They, they tend to, to act on their passion. So sometimes, you know, they can come in as quickly as they go out, but it, it depends on the person. It, it's always going to vary. So it's kind of like you going into hermit mode to use your intuition about this person. This could also be a second person that you might need to cut out as well. That could be a fire sign. Um, cause maybe you cut someone out and you're kind of feeling a sense of freedom, but there could be a second person or a second energy in general that needs to be cut out. So maybe that's maybe for some of you, there's two different messages here. For some of you, you either have a fire sign or someone in this fiery kind of passionate energy that's coming in and you're going to need to use, go into hermit mode and, um, you know, really use your intuition and sort through this energy. Um, for others, for a lot of you though, I really feel like it might be saying there's, there might be one more person that you need to cut out. And if you did my cut and clear community ritual, you can just go back into the same one for the second person. It's not like, you know what I mean? Like you can just do the same ritual you did for the first person with the second person. For some of you, it could even be saying like, maybe you need to redo the, I don't think most of you need to redo the ritual. I think most of you did it right. Um, and you'll know, like you'll know, you'll feel that sense of freedom, I think, for most of you. And it's it's not like it's going to, it's not like it backfires that easily. The point is just having faith and, you know, putting the intention in, the energy in, the the passion, the emotion. That's what's really going to get things moving for you. But yeah, some of you, it's saying there is a second person that you need to go in and, and do that ritual again and cut them out is is what I'm getting here. Because there might be two people. There could could be an air sign and a fire sign. I don't know. Um, or just people that are kind of maybe have air and fire in their chart or there's kind of like in that energy currently. Um, but yeah, it's kind of isolating and taking a look at this, honestly, like you see how this person has this light that she's he or she is shining on this king or queen of wands. Like they're looking at this. They're like, OK, wait a minute. Maybe this needs to be cut out, too. It could be a Leo. Also, I see the lions in the background. Um, and then the moon, you know, that's that's using that's facing the truth, you know, sorting through the lies and the confusion, the illusions, you know, finding the truth and, um, you know, using your intuition and sticking to that. So, so yeah, some of you, some of you need to go cut someone else out as well. Spring cleaning, right? Let's get another spread. Okay. And I mean, this energy is going to come up because like a lot of you are saying like, well, you know, where's the new person? Where's the new person? Or where's, you know, wh when is my, my true love? When is my true love coming in? When is, you know, where's the life partner? And it's like, well, you know, you have to, when you're asking for that, you also have to be ready and willing to let go of whatever has been blocking that. And sometimes that's messy. It's not always, I mean, some of you, you have a clear path where it's like your person can just come in any day now, but others, it's like, you might have some things, you know, the universe, your guides through this, through this, um, these twin flame readings, they're going to be showing you what needs to be cut out, like what needs to be cleared here. And so that's, you know, that's why I did the cut and clear ritual for you guys. So you guys can cut out the things that have been holding you back from receiving the love that you've been manifesting because your intentions are working is what I've been getting. Like the man, like you've been putting a lot of energy into manifesting love, money, all of it's working. Like you're, you're strong at it. Like your intentions are on point. It's just that it's almost like I like a, like a flood, but there's like some like dam or something that's like blocking it from, from pouring out over, you know what I mean? And it's like, that needs to be removed. So this flood can come pouring in, this flood of abundance can come in for you. Um, and again, that's just like one little thing that just kind of been keeping you stagnant that you need to let go of. But yeah, maybe some of you have a second person to let go of as well, but just go back and do my ritual. It's, it's posted about a week ago. Just look for the, the twin flame cut and clear community ritual video on my channel. So, okay, so let's clear that energy up. What comes after that? Six of Wands being in the public eye. Ten of Swords. Nine of Wands. Okay. All right. The Fool. New start. New start. That's good. Let me get these straightened for you. Eight of Swords. Yeah, so you're getting out of you're getting out of the Eight of Swords energy though and having this new start. 
Yeah, I think some of you, honestly, it's like you haven't wanted to wake up and face this. You've wanted to, like with this person or mul multiple people, for some of you, like I said, it might be two or th maybe two or even more people that you need to cut and clear. Like when you end a relationship and you're really done, you need to do the cut and clear ritual because otherwise you still have these red cords connecting you guys. And they can pick up on your energy, especially if they're a psychic vampire. You could be over them for years and they could still be picking up on your energy because you still have those red cords telepathically, even if not if you don't, if you're not feeling them as much consciously. So that's like so, like you know, that's why sometimes, you know, months after not hearing from someone, you start thinking about them, you start missing them, and you're just like, why? Like, why am I feeling them? It's like, well, the cords haven't been cut. So if you're really done, you need to, you know, I would recommend doing that ritual for anyone that you know for sure that you're done with. Um, and, and don't talk to them again after that either because the cords will reattach. So make sure it's someone you genuinely on a soul level feel that you're, you're genuinely done with. But, um, eight of swords. Now, I don't know why I just put the five of cups away. <laughs> so I just pulled it out the night and I put it away because I was saying something about it and then I started, got, got distracted and started shuffling. Um, Strength, yeah, because okay. So what I was saying about the eight of swords, eight of swords and five of cups. So it's like it's almost like part of you maybe, maybe it hurts or maybe you feel like, well, I have let this go already, but there's still the connection telepathically in the higher realms that you need to cut. So it's kind of like getting out of that eight of swords energy and looking around you. It's like you have your castle right in front of you. Eight of swords traditionally, it's someone that's focusing on all the swords around them that they they don't realize they could just wake up and walk right out. There's an opening right in front of them, right in front of their face. With their castle, their career, their true love, everything they could want. They just got to stop focusing on the swords around them. Let that go. Let that, you know, leave the past in the past and move forward to your dreams. Be strong here. Um, but yeah, what comes next? So being in the public eye, some of you are going getting into the spotlight too publicly. Um, Ten of swords. I feel it for some of you, it does seem like this is causing you pain. Like you knew it was time to end this, but it does still hurt. Um, cause 10 of swords is kind of like the final, like rock bottom, like the kind of final breakdown here where you're just like, you just like, you know, it's over, like, you know, you're done with it, but it still hurts. It's still hard for you, you know, and nine of wands, it's like, it's a final battle, but you're using that fire energy to start this new life. Um, what next page of wands. Okay. For some of you, I feel like it might have also been saying like that you hit rock bottom in terms of like finances and career and it might have been this person like like they weren't like doing like they they're not strong enough to like affect your career or anything. But like maybe like some of you were like some of you might have been getting depressed over them and almost like neglecting yourself and neglecting the things that you wanted to pursue, if that makes sense. So it's like now you're you're getting that passion and that courage back to have this new start. And you're realizing that you're in that you've been in the eight of swords. Like I think that you I feel like this felt like a huge deal to you. And now I think you're kind of waking up and you're like, oh, wait a minute, like it's all an illusion. Like this person's like you're realizing that this person's power and control over you is all just an illusion. Like it was just eight of swords energy, you know, like you were like asleep, like you were almost like this person had like just had you like not noticing who like who you are, like not in your power. And it's weird because it's like this person isn't even that powerful, not not you, but the person that was trying to that was holding you back for whatever reason, whether they were doing it consciously or not. It's like they're not even that powerful. They're not even that. You know what I mean? Like they're nothing. They're just they're just a bitter, insecure person that maybe wanted to like leech off your energy or something. But like Eight of Swords, it's like you're waking up and you're you're getting through the pain. Some of you, it is hurting you, but you're like, you know what? Like this person did not have my best interest at heart. This person was not good for me. This person is selfish. Like you're 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 accepting it now. You're accepting it even if it hurts. You're being strong even if it's hard sometimes. But eight of swords, it's it's a really um, you know life changing moment that you've just come into or that you're coming into because it's like with eight of swords, it's like you you recognize these swords around you. You're like oh wait a minute, like duh, there's an opening right here. Like it's not it's not years away or several months away. You're like my castle's right in front of my face. My my true love my my finances, abundance, happiness, like all I have to do is just wake up, take my power and my strength back and stop focusing on these, you know, dramatic swords around me and just step right out of this energy. There's a clear opening for you. 
you just have to take that that chance. You have to wake up and, and be strong and step through it. But you guys are doing it, I feel. So, and it's possible too, and that maybe, maybe if there's two people that are hurting you, like that have hurt you in the past, maybe one of them is hard to let go and the other one's not like, cause the, um, cause that King of, uh, wands came up, which I'm wondering is like, maybe that's a fire sign or something. I mean, they could, could be, could, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be anyone, but. We could just have fire in their chart or something, or just, you know, maybe in that passionate energy right now. But yeah. Um, so as you let these people go, and I feel like it's just like a transition you're going through. It's like you're just letting these multiple people go. Like you're you're leveling up and you're starting, your confidence is coming in. So you're starting to look back on these relationships and you're just kind of like, ooh, like why did I why did I put up with that? Why did I put up with being abused or neglected or not, or being blocked or not being wanted? Like, why would that ever be enough for me? Like, why would I ever, you know, like, why would I ever be into that? Like you're, you're kind of, your perspective is shifting as you let these people go. And cause you're proving it to your guides too. Like you're doing the work, you're letting these people go. Like you're doing the cut and clear rituals. You're, you're moving forward. Like, so you're proving it to your guides. You're like, you know what? I'm 100% on board with letting this energy go. I don't want it anymore. And it's like you're you're just leveling up and your perspective is changing and you're kind of looking back on the past and your your um type is changing, I feel too. Like you're not as attracted to those people that you, as you used to be. Like as you cut those patterns out, um, as you heal these patterns, like you're doing a lot of psychological, emotional work right now. A lot of healing is really being done and it might feel stagnant at times, but I think it's cause you're, you're really in this like introspective kind of place where you're moving past this energy. So I feel like, yeah, it's like your perspective is changing. So you're looking back and you're like, not as attracted. You're like, why would I deal with that? Ooh. Cause like in that vibration, in that mindset, in that energy that you were in, it's like you, you were okay with that. You were, you know what I mean? Like you were like used to it, like it was a pattern that you were repeating or whatever it might have been. But now it's like you're you're leveling up, finally shifting out of that energy, finally breaking these patterns, setting yourself free. So you're looking back and you're like, oh, my God, I do not ever want to date that kind of person again. Like just like physically too, like you know, just like emotionally, like physically, like when I was when I was younger, when I was like 20, 21, I'm 30 right now, about to turn 31. But, um, when I was like, like, you know, like a teenager, like I liked the skinny emo boys, like the little, like the little skinny goth emo boys. And now I'm just like, and they were like cocky too. I mean, not, I mean, not that there's any, like you can be emo and, or whatever and be in that scene and not be like that. But like all the ones I went through were like super like fake and narcissistic and like skinny little emo boys that were like more high maintenance than me, like. And I'm like, dude, why? Why did I ever want that? Or like, I think about my exes, just how narcissistic some of them were and, and how emotionally unavailable they were. And I'm like, or, or abusive or whatever. And I'm like, ew, why did I ever, why would I ever go for that? Like, like physically, my type has changed a lot too. Like I like men that are a lot stronger now, like physically stronger, like more like mature, more experienced. Like I do not like the fake high maintenance kind of, aesthetic that I used to like when I was younger you know what I mean like I like men that are like like real you know like more you know what I mean like I don't care about the aesthetic so much anymore I, I like I have it like a different type now um and it's kind of like almost like a transition you guys are going through now too where you're like your type might be physically changing you might literally be like like why the hell did I like that why did I think that was sexy like you're you know, emotionally too, you're like, it's like you're, you're coming into this whole new energy and it's really powerful. So keep going through it. Keep showing. I mean, I know it's kind of stressful sometimes. You're like, oh my God, I thought I did the healing work already. Why is this coming up? But just, just keep cutting, keep, keep being introspective and looking and seeing, hey, like asking yourself these questions, like, Hey, is there maybe one thing that I need to, is there something I need to cut out that I haven't cut out? that maybe I thought I was free from, but, but you know, now that I think about it, I'm still thinking about this person from time to time. Um, I'm not in love with them, but their energy keeps coming up. Like ask yourself, like maybe there is someone else too that you need to cut out or another pattern or energy that you need to really work on and, and get through, you know, but I feel like you're doing it and you're proving 
this energy is proving to your guides that you're on board with these changes, that you're ready. Like you're the the work that you're doing right now is is basically telling your guides like, hey, I'm ready for this new love. I'm not going to reject this new person that you want to bring in because they're not my usual type, because you know what? They're going to be my usual type now. My usual type is not what it was before. Like you're telling your guides that right now through this work. You're like, you know, when you bring this person in, I'm not going to friend zone them. I'm not going to, if they spoil me and they, they do all the texting first and they want to treat me like a queen or treat me like a king, I'm going to accept it because I know I deserve it. Where before you wouldn't have, you would have thought it was suspicious. They would have thought that they just wanted sex. You would have um, maybe thought they were just too nice, too boring, too, too normal or whatever, like something you would have sabotaged it basically. And now you're getting to that point where you w won't sabotage it. Cause you're going to be like, hell yes, I deserve this. I've earned this. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's going to turn you on when this person is, is doing all those things for you. So you're basically letting your guys know like, Hey, I'm in this new vibration. And some of you might be having like some like anxiety and like nervousness too, because you're leveling up and going into this new vibration. So, and full disclaimer, I'm not like, I can't diagnose any medical conditions. So it's like, it's, you know, I did. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychologist. So I can't say for sure that's where your anxiety is coming from. But for some of you, that might be part of it, at least I will say, is that, um, that yeah, you're leveling up. So when you're, you're in these like new high vibrations, sometimes if you're not used to it, it's kind of like intimidating. It's like being out in like an open field. You're like, it's just a lot. Like it feels like, like almost like overstimulating. It's just kind of like it's intense. You know what I mean? So like as you raise your vibration, it, it might, I mean, it feels good. Like you feel positive, but it, it, it might be having like all this energy come out of nowhere. And you're just like, what the hell? Like, why, why do I feel like cleaning my house all the time now? And before I was just depressed and didn't want to do anything, you know, like that kind of energy. And it's like, well, you're leveling up you're, and you're proving to your guides, like you're showing them through your, through your energy, through your actions, through your words, your choices, you're like, you know what, I'm open, I'm ready. When you bring this new love in, I'm going to accept it. I'm not going to friends on them. I'm not going to sabotage it. I'm not going to push them away. I'm not going to question it. I'm going to know this is love is a blessing from the universe. And I'm going to fully accept it because I love myself. I'm confident enough to know that I deserve this kind of love. You know, and in the old vibration, you would they couldn't have brought that love into you because you would not you would not have accepted it. You, like I said, you would have sabotaged it. You would have questioned it. It wouldn't, you know what I mean? Like you, you would have been like, what's the catch? Like you couldn't accept love. You couldn't accept people giving you things. Like there was something, you know what I mean? There was some kind of pattern that maybe, maybe you are partly emotionally unavailable yourself going for these emotionally unavailable people that were mirroring you. But now you're coming into this phase where you're actually finally emotionally available where you're actually like, you know what, I'm like, you're ready. Like you're, you know what I mean? Like you're, you can feel that energy change. It's not just like, it's not just like loneliness. Like, oh my God, I've been doing so much work. I've been healing forever. I'm ready. Can you bring it? Like, come on. It's, it's more like, you're just like about to, you're, you're either living your best life or about to be like, you're in this high vibrational energy, like, and you're, it, it's just different. Like you can just feel that it's different. You know what I mean? Like you can just kind of tell it's different. Um, like I said, some of you need to go back and cut out a second person too, but, but you're coming, you're in this or you're coming into this, I feel for this group. So it's really positive. Um, I would say it's, it's a really good reading. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, like I said, sometimes like when you raise your vibration like that, it can be scary, you know, like keep pushing forward, keep pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. Cause like I said, it's like, you're in this, you're in this new phase, this new vibration. And sometimes it's like, it's just so unfamiliar that it can be intimidating because you're like, oh my God, like I'm not attracted to any of my exes anymore. What the hell? And it's almost like, I mean, you know that you're done with your exes, but it's still kind of almost intimidating sometimes when you look back, probably you're like, but why am I done with them? Like, why am I not attracted to them anymore? It was almost like familiar, like the drama, the codependency, like you weren't happy with it, but it was like familiar to you. But now you have this this, you know, this new type that you're going to be attracted to, like this new energy, just with love, with finances, with everything, just, you know, completely leveling up. Um, and so, so like I said, for some of you, it's just like, it's just the unfamiliarity. It's like, it's exciting, but it's kind of scary. Like you're looking back, you're like, wait, what? <laughs> like, where, where am I now? What's going on now? Um, 
But I mean, get used to it. Get used to those higher vibrations. Like you're just adapting. It's just, it's a process. You know what I mean? It's like, it's it, adapting to these new energies. Um, especially if you've been in this familiar stagnant energy and repeating these patterns for years and years, like, you know, having this new energy, somehow for some of you, it's kind of scary and intimidating. You're just like, you know, for some of your, your third eye is probably opening up really quickly too. And you're just like, what, why am I, am I channeling? Like, what's going on? Like, you're kind of stepping back and you're like, uh, like what's happening to me? And it's like, well, you're, you're, you're in another vibration. You've almost like stepped through a portal. Like you're, you're in this higher vibration right now, you know? Um, so it's just kind of a, a matter of like adapting to these higher energies, you know, cause sometimes it's like, you might doubt yourself. You'd be like, can I really handle this? Like, can I, I'm really channeling, like I'm really in this, like I really deserve this abundance. Like just, you know, having things manifest so quickly for you and you're just like, like what's going on, but it's good. It's like exciting, but scary, but, but yeah, keep pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. Keep striving for the life that you want. Um, cause you can feel these energy shifts, I think. And, you know, keep showing your guides that you are ready for this love that you're asking for. Cause before you weren't really showing them, you were saying it, but it was almost like, out of like sadness and like desperation, like I'm ready. Can you just bring it? But now you're just like, like, it's like heart chakra opening where you're just like, like you're actually ready. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're just, you're in this different energy is basically what I'm feeling. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles energy or King of Pentacles, 10 of Pentacles, abundance, financial abundance, career, entrepreneurship, Empress energy. Oh my God. That's a lot of good cards. Yeah, new starts here, new starts. Justice coming into justice. Like you are, like I was saying, you, from whoever, the naysayers or anyone that wants, that's jealous or wants to drag you down, they're going to have that, they're going to have some bad karma. They're going to have, all their negative intentions are going to come back on them tenfold. And karma usually does not happen that quickly. I, I personally believe that karma usually happens lifetime after lifetime, like, Let's say you make fun of homeless people one life. Well, next life, you're going to be a homeless person. You know, you steal from, from people one life. Well, next life, you know, someone's going to steal from you or multiple people are going to steal from you. Like that kind of energy. That's how I think karma works. It, it repeats over lifetimes. But this this is the energy of like karma quick, like this year, like this, maybe the next couple of months even. Um, this isn't like, oh, eventually they'll get theirs. This is like, no, this person that tried to sabotage you is, is sabotage you is going to get theirs quick. Like all that negative energy, your guides, it's like I was saying, your guides did something in the higher realms where they just took all that energy they were sending and they're going to send it back to this person tenfold. You're going to have justice. You're going to, you're going to have blessings. And this person that tried to hurt you and sabotage you is going to end up with the opposite pretty much. Especially the more they do it, the more they're going to get screwed, you know? So you, and you're in the empress energy. You're just, this is motherly loving, uh, na nature, inter nature based energy, just living your best life. Like 10 of pentacles, just no one can take this from you. This is yours. This is your birthright. This 10 of pentacles, this abundance being the queen or king of pentacles, you know, the stability, the financial stability, emotional stability, this emotionally stable relationship that's coming in that you might not have been ready for in the past, but now you're ready for it. All of this is your birthright. This was all destined for you. So no one is going to take this away from you. This is this is yours. And anyone that tries to take it is going to be screwed. Like justice is going to come in and, and screw that person up because your guides, this is this is yours. Like I said, it's your birthright. So your guides are going to protect this above all else. Like they're going to make sure that's for that, you know, nothing, nothing coming between this. It just, it can't, it can't, if it tries, it's going to get, it. it's not going to go well for the person that even tries, but it's not going to work anyway, but for them, you know, but, um, but yeah, it's really, it's really good energy. It's really exciting energy, but it's kind of like the, that point I was making where I, when I was younger, I liked the, like the skinny boys with like, they were kind of fake, kind of cocky, narcissistic. They're all about the aesthetic, very high maintenance. And now it's like, I like the opposite. I like men that have muscles. I like men that are more masculine, um, but also, you know, feminine, like have that strong feminine side too. Like I like men that are very sweet and romantic and loving and um, have that emotional depth, but also, you know, assertive and confident and strong at the same time, like the best of both worlds. But like physically, my, my type has changed a lot. You know what I was saying? It's like they're, they're, you know, I like the exact opposite of what I used to like. And same for like emotionally, like I am, you know, in the past, it's like I was, I would chase harder if someone was emotionally unavailable. And now I'm so turned off when someone's emotionally unavailable. Like if someone doesn't text me first, I just, I don't like it. I don't, I'm, I don't want it. 
You know what I mean? It's like you're going to I'm just making that point like you're getting into this energy where it's like the things like the emotional unavailability and then like the narcissism and the things that used to make you try harder are going to have the opposite effect on you now where instead of making you try harder, they're going to make they're going to just disgust you and you're just going to be like, ew. Like, I don't need someone who's, like, afraid of love. I don't need someone who's not emotionally available. Like, everyone's scared, but you know what? Like, make a decision. Am I worth it to you or not? Like, you're going to start being turned off by that energy that used to make you try harder. And you're going to start being turned on by, you know, people texting you first, people pursuing you, people, um, you know, giving you the love and affection and and the attention that you deserve and want. You know what I mean? Like, those things are going to... You're in a you're becoming into an emotionally available state of of energy of mindset. So you're open to to receiving someone who's equally emotionally available to you. So anyway, um, any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it adds up quickly. My PayPal and my Cash App are below. And if anyone wants a private reading, my email address is right below in the description box. So just send me an email. I'm free to do to go more in depth into this into your person, your exes, whatever you want to know. Um, I might go live tomorrow if there's any interest in it. I've been going live, but it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of interest in my live videos. But um, but if anyone's interested, I might start going live more. Um, and yeah, please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you for watching.